to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that I am sharing my personal bottle of uh, Lucky Seven wow, Holiday Chad, you're Toast. so generous. Thank you, Chad. I did buy this with my own personal allowance. Can you, <laughs> can you just break down for me though? Like it's not the holidays, so why are we doing this now? Christmas in July, Sarah. Oh, that old chestnut. That okay. old chestnut roasting All on, right. a, on a open on a hood of a car. <laughs> right, seriously, on a flaming hot sidewalk. Okay, yeah. fine, I'll buy into it. Yeah. So at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, at their booth, Lucky Seven booth, I, you know, I tried a lot of them. I tried this one, obviously, and I really enjoyed it. So, like I said, with with my own money, with your own uh, allowance, he and, saved uh, up. I saved up, pinched pinched them pennies, opened up that pocketbook, and and bought this, and I uh, really enjoy it. And I thought you guys might too, although it's been out since like 2020, as I think when it uh, hit shelves. But so it's been around. It's been around. It's been around the block. Different releases, though, right? Different like. Well, b batches, batches, I'm sure. I mean, uh, like... uh, this is batch 03. Yeah, I should uh, note that. You should. But it is a double oak finished and toasted new American oak barrel. Mm, so it's a regular bourbon. Nice. Then they put it uh, into a newly toasted barrel. So it's double oaked that way. And it is 115 proof. I don't mind that. Yeah. Okay. It's not age stated. A lot of times Lucky Seven will age state their stuff, but this mm -hmm. one's not. Ooh. Yeah. But you definitely get that toasted oak. Now it is, you know, uh, taste and nose wise mm. aimed towards the holidays. So, well, it does have yeah. some ho nice holiday spice on it. Yeah, some baking spice in there. Ooh. Really rich, like a French vanilla, which I typically get with like double oak or French oak, you know, mm -hmm. or whatever. French oak, toasted oak. Mm, I am in Christmas in July over here. Oh, God. Wow, yeah, very just sort of uh, really pleasant. Cast iron skillet, you know, kitchen baking type of vibes. Layered, sweet and savory kind of thing going on. Yeah. All right, let's dive in. To your health. A, a sort of a, a rich Ooh. syrup, a boozy syrup. Um, I know. <laughs> not really. It's not really maple. It's almost like a oddly a tropical, like a melakaliki maka, uh, Hawaiian like tropical Christmas type of vibe. Okay. What are you getting, Sarah? Because I do get some baking spice on the palate. It's a tiny bit dry. I think again from that extra oaking process, you can see that. it's getting a little more tannic in there. Mm -hmm. A little uh, herbal spice tea, maybe like not quite a chai, but almost into a chai tea. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that um, with the warm spice. Yeah. Uh, and a little bit of candied pecans or some type of nut, some type of candied, definitely get the, you know, the, the candying process, mm. sweetness. There is like a sugary sweet. And there is definitely oak, but. But not like candied candy like not like skittles or anything like that but yeah no. like a candied again, walnuts maybe again the walnuts. play between yeah. sweet and savory mm -hmm. like a candied nut so you have the savory and the sweet together i get yeah. that like yeah, yeah a candied walnut mm -hmm. okay well before i take my second oh, sip I here i don't know it. where you are you okay yeah you're gonna be going for your third win <laughs> we want to hit pause before sarah drinks all of hers tell you about our home on the internet it's whiskeyambitions.com it's where you can get the t-shirts that we are both wearing my hat, uh, the Glen Cairns that we were drinking from, of course, but also our mini Glens. We got one, look, right off screen. Love, we were drinking so earlier. Cute. A little off, yeah, mini Glen. Uh, not one of ours, but it is a mini Glen. Same, same. Bottle cut candles and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where you can get discounts on that merch, depending on your tier. First access to our barrel picks, sometimes exclusive access to our barrel picks, yeah. depending on the yield, uh, opportunities to join us for events and more. Second and third set. I, I agree on the the dryness because of the double oaking, but they're in the beginning. It, it's it does a really have good a good mouthfeel mouth up yeah. front, and then it dries out. Mm -hmm. Again, I think it's that like herbal slash chai tea, baking spice thing. It, it does dry out into those, and that a uh, little bit of French oak, kind of or not French oak, but like French vanilla oaky kind mm -hmm. of thing. I do like it. I just think I would like it better in the fall, which is maybe when it's intended <laughs> to be consumed. It obviously is. Uh, just trying to make you think of some cooler weather right now, Sarah. Oh. You know, trying to do my part. I'm counting the days. <laughs> <sighs> I also get some black pepper on the finish. Uh, the the barrel shows up nicely though. There is dryness, but it's not a killer for me. And it can be, but it's not. And I'm also sort of getting some, hmm, yeah, some of those fruity flavors you're talking about mm. there on the end as too. I think it's uh, it's pretty enjoyable. More enjoyable enjoy in colder weather. I will agree with yes. that. I it's a little warm today, as you can tell by the rolled up sleeves. <laughs> it's a little warm today, so this one's uh, it's like, I'm a little, ugh. You got your pack of cigarettes in there? Stop, yeah. leave me alone. <laughs> 
she doesn't smoke. I, I um, don't. <laughs> but I thought she was trying to be, well, Fonzie didn't either, but someone has the, that uh, James Dean, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Rebel without a cause, but. Uh, overall, I think it's I think it's pretty good. You know, around eighty bucks for this, mm -hmm. one hundred and fifteen proof for a double oak product. A double oak product at one hundred and fifteen proof, fine. I agree. Uh, non H stated source. I mean, it's still mm -hmm. it's tasting right though. Eighty bucks though is not the worst that we've seen for something like that. So no. I'll give it to him. It's an enjoyable product. I like it, yeah. and especially if you were to buy and enjoy it around you know the holiday months, I think that that is a pretty fitting price point for people in that time. I agree. Well, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, me. Until next time, drink more bourbon.